Mr. Speaker, the recent controversy and resignation by one of President Obama's policy czars highlights a very real problem. The President's use of unaccountable policy czars to circumvent the Constitution. Now, by one account, the White House has 32 policy czars, including a science czar, a regulatory czar, and even a Great Lakes czar. These czars are tasked with leading major policy efforts for the administration and have simply been granted a great deal of authority. Yet each czar, unlike a cabinet secretary, is not subject to congressional oversight. Members of the cabinet have to be approved by Congress and they report to Congress. Policy czars have no such obligation. So what we have now is a situation where major policy decisions are being made by a group of people who are not approved by Congress not subject to congressional oversight, and operate without any transparency or accountability. This is not what our Constitution intended.